Ah, that stink! And that Piona, too. I'm gonna send her to the glue factory. Welcome back to Ripen Tingle's Balloon Trip of Love. We're currently stranded because our train, the Tingliner, the Super Deluxe Express, is out of fuel. So we gotta find some fuel. Not just any fuel. Nature-friendly ethanol. Oh, oh, hey, pig. And, and, spoiler hermit, for like a little bit. He was there for a short period of time. You sure are, and now you're a moist pig. Well, might as well save. It's a new chapter, after all. Something tells me we might be here a while. Cause, gas problems. We can't teleport around like pig and spoiler hermit can. Anyway, let's check the signs. Vegetable village. Okay, great. Very helpful sign. Lush vegetable village. Flowers, fruit, seeds. Plant fuel? I guess we'll find out. Yay! Villages! I like villages. They're filled with things. They're also filled with rupees. That should be good for us. Look, a villager! I, I, also, there's somebody... Uh, do, do you see it? There's somebody hiding in the bushes, too. It's kind of weird. Anyway, we have a damsel in distress. That is one giant fruit, I gotta tell you. Yeah, sure, we'll help you out. Yes, yeah, she did. She absolutely dropped this fruit. You're very astute, Tingle. Yeah, why the heck not? What's the worst that could happen? Besides Tingle falling in love again... Ah, God! You know, it's okay until we get to the face. Then... The deal is off. Jeez, Tingle. Oh no, she said that word. Uh, but you need that fruit, don't you? I hope it's not poisonous. Well, why would she be picking it then, if that was the case? And again, she has called him, like, a pervert, or a molester, or something. Ah, oh, you're so optimistic, Akashi. I like you. Now, Lion's busy puking, and, uh, Bariki's off doing things, and there's a hat up there. Do you see that hat? It's up on the upper screen. I can't click on it. I even tried. Yes, I did. Ah, it, it kind of looks like a Monkey D. Luffy hat. Don't ask me why I know this. Yeah, I saw you. What are you doing? Who are you? Kakashi! Do you want to straw him or something? Okay, uh, we just got creepy guy in the bushes. Uh, let's get out of here. Oh, so her name's Ionia, huh? She saw a tingle! No time for work. Look at all the ladies. Oh. Hi, lady! Tingle, you seem to... You again! Stop doing that! That's creepy! That's creepier than Tingle! Creepier than Tingle's doing right now! I like that word, goose flesh. It's not used as often as it should. It's better than goose pimples. Goose don't have pimples. Okay, I guess you're not the fuel farmer then. You, you look like the flower farmer anyway. We'll leave you alone forever now. So, we don't have much to do around here because the ladies don't want to talk to Tingle. Like, none of the ladies. And there seems to be quite a bit of those. Like, everywhere. Hi, do you got fuel for us? Ah, she has fuel! Good. Oh, it's ripe fuel, too. It's freshly picked fuel. Eh? Do you, do you like that name drop, Kakashi? Yeah, we need some vegetable oil. For our train. Yes! We're gonna get our fuel! We'll be out of here in no time. Until they saw Tingle. Oh my goodness! Tingle, you make the children cry! He's not a... he's ugly, he's not a pervert, he isn't even doing the goo-goo-eye things at you. Every 
everyone is tingest around here. Why did you have to look again, kid? You don't want to get that burned into your mind. I missed some things over on this screen anyway. Way to go, Tingle. Scaring children and everybody. Fields of flowers. Fields of flowers everywhere. Yeah, that's all I wanted to click on was the fields of flowers. I, I thought there was more to it than that, but no. Oh no, the children's crying again. Well, that means we could steal their stuff, right? I mean, it's just like right here. They're hiding from Tingle. There's the oil. All we have to do is bring that to Peter, and we're all set. Oh, that's a long walk back, isn't it? Well... Then again, Tingle is not really the stealing sort. Let me guess, more ladies on this screen. And they're afraid of Tingle. Anybody? Hey, it's that field we were reading about in the last video. They want us to come up the stairs. Hey, I'm kind of rich. I got 720 rupees. Let's go! Doesn't seem to be really much here. Are, are you the proprietor? Hey, monkey. Uh, are you selling the plot? Yeah, it has some really golden teeth, doesn't it? Oh, those are dentures. Um, yeah, sure. We could give a monkey dentures in this game. Why not? Let's grab them. You can sell the dentures. Ah, insulted by a monkey tingle. That's why the ladies don't like you. So, we really can't do anything with that. We only have a Kakashi at the moment. Straw him! Go to it! Straw him right in the butt! No, I said the butt, not the tree. That was terrible, Kakashi, and you disappointed everyone. I wanted you to straw his butt. Well, Kakashi can't do anything. Oh wait, I have a slingshot! Slingshot versus monkey! Oh! Wow, he has ninja moves! I'll come back and deal with you later, monkey. So, that doesn't seem to be proprietor of the plot. Maybe we could try this thingy out. It's a device! Looks like it has like a little wind chime on it. Hmm, maybe we should pull that cord! Why the heck not? Let's wear a hat while we do it. Nah. I see we have the hat with us, and the rubber gloves, and the badge. Not much else from uh, page five, though. Hello, anybody there? Oh, what kind of technology is this? Uh, hi, I'm a bird, and this is totally not a pervert. So she needs some kind of identification. No, the microphone will not work in this case. She won't be like, hey, that's a really sweet voice, I want to talk to you. No, it's not like that. Hey, you look familiar. It's a green ladybug fellow. Yeah, I've seen red, I've seen blue, I've seen yellow. He's kind of a combination of blue and yellow. So, how are you doing today? Hi, weird green ladybug. Oh, you heard about them being perverts? What, there's another auntie? Or is it the same auntie? Do you know the same auntie we know? Well, we're looking for fuel, and also there's an auntie florist, apparently. Yeah, do you sell fuel? Yeah, but they're afraid of Tingle at the moment. Uh... What about the Auntie Florist thing? How does Tingle suddenly know of Auntie Florist? Maybe it's just written on the sign and we can't read it because it's in Hylian. Or, uh, whatever country this is. So he's just tending to the shop while Auntie Florist is off doing Auntie Florist things. So she's a forgetful Auntie Florist. Archie's really passionate about her job. Nothing to do there. All we have is spinning pinwheels. Look at it go! Sometimes I'm happy that we have 60 frames per second on this game. 
because uh, it has a lot more 3D detail than last time. The last time uh, on Ripened, uh, no, 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 freshly picked Tingle's Rosie Rupee Land, uh, I couldn't do 30 frames per second because of recorder problems. Sorry about that. Also, it was like 2015, and the 60 FPS was pretty new. So we got a fruit seller. Also, we got this fellow. And uh, yeah, you saw Ionia. She's still scared of Tingle. Now you're caught up on everything. And this is like a... a sleepy bean person. A plant person. So why are you standing in the shade, little guy? Oh no, a hat! A straw hat! Nope, never seen a straw hat before. What about fuel? Have you seen fuel in your travels? So he can't go anywhere because he's missing his hat. So he can't play outside without his hat. And he wants to go bug hunting real bad. Well, you know what? Um, good luck with that. We're busy looking for fuel. Not bugs. So, see you later, kid. Hey, fruit seller, I want some fuel. Do we got fuel made out of fruit? They're having a conversation. They don't notice Tingle yet. They don't notice the lurking danger. Now they do. Or at least a fruit seller does. Don't turn around, lady. You're not gonna like what you see. Don't do it! You did it! Why did you do it? Why are you a mushroom now? Okay. You again! Shoo! Stop spying on Tingle! He's the second creepiest thing in this village! So why are you a mushroom, lady? She's imitating a mushroom right now. She's hoping Tingle doesn't like mushrooms. Okay, we can't talk to people unless we're looking at them, so... Darn! She knows! I wonder what happens if she gets strawed. Ah! Come on, Kakashi! Fine, I'll jolt her out of it. Yeah! Oh wow, that's like a... That's like a shield! Fine, you know what? You guys don't want to talk to Tingle. Let's talk to the parrot. Surely the parrot wants to talk to us! Because it's probably not a girl. Not a very talkative parrot. Then again, a lot of parrots aren't very talkative. It's kind of rare. Okay, now he's ready to speak. See, he didn't say anything about perverts. I'm fine. See, the parrot has written off Tingle. You guys can stop hiding now. Alright, fine, whatever. Be jerks. I'm going this way. <laughs> I like how they pop out of their hiding spots just to watch Tingle get... Yeah, we expected this by now, didn't we? She's just refusing Tingle's existence. Really hard, too. Holy crap, these people are really rude to Tingle. Ah, fine. You know what? You're a jerk. These people are actually being jerks to Tingle. This is like America. This is what America does whenever Tingle walks into the room. They hide, or they look away, and they pretend he's not there. Why not? Tingle's an okay guy. Now, we know where you are, and you're trapped now. Yeah, you're, we're still out here. That hasn't changed a thing. I'm just gonna take your weird-looking plant. Yeah, it's a fruit tree, alright. Probably, like, papaya or something. You know what? I haven't smelled much vinegar in my life, so I can't imagine sweet vinegar. But we can't really do anything with this. Uh, so, talking to Iona's out of the question. Let's talk to... Old person. Old grandpa man. You know what? I almost pegged him as a grandma, the way his hair is looking. But clearly a guy, because he's not running from Tingle. Oh, yeah, that's Kakashi. He was totally not a pervert. Don't believe the lies. Well, yeah, he is that. That's, that's true. Yeah, we want some fuel. 
Also, we could talk about Iona and the store, too, but let's talk about fuel. Uh, it's something that runs his train. No? You look like you're running on old. And grumpy. Tell us about Iona. Well, we can see that, because she triggered Tingle in ways that the other women have not. No. Way out of his league, huh? Well, now what about the store? Seeds, do you have fuel? So she is like the co-owner. You're gonna hand the store over to her when you finally croak. Well, you're a fount of information, thanks a lot. Kakashi? You can straw this person. Come on, he deserves it. I don't know why he deserves it. He deserves a good strawing. But it's a seed vendor, all right. Yeah, look at all the seeds they're vending. You know what? Wouldn't that, like, really ruin the economy selling seeds? That people could grow their own plants, and they don't have to go to the fruit seller, and they don't have to go to the general store, and they don't have to go to any other store involving plants, because they have their own plants growing in the ground at their house. I think, I think these guys are like the Mafia. Iona's family is the Mafia. You again! Would you stop stalking Tingle? What are you doing? No, you're a pit, apparently, from the tune of this song. So, this was the Kid Icarus sequel that we all wanted. Here we go. It's on the DS, too. So this is Love Ya, the Love Cupid. Yeah, I know, ever since we got into the village. Kinda creepy. Yeah. No, he has a hard time keeping women around long enough to talk to him. Different problem. Now really, what can you do? Pretty up tingle? Okay. I mean, uh, we could use all the help we can get. Let's take middle-aged Pit. Middle-aged Kid Icarus. Oh, good, an item! The Girl Diary! What is Girl Diary? Okay. Let me just write down for every single one, hates Tingle. Okay. What kind of goal? What, make all the women like him? What, what practicing? Practicing where? What, the little girl? That's... Yeah, gotta get the oil out of the way. They were blocking off this entire path with that oil. I bet that fisherman is kinda miffed. So, he's waiting for us, but I kinda like this music, and we also have Fisherman Dude here. He, he looks a little... No, he doesn't look a little. He looks a lot old. Maybe this is that, uh, Mushroom Lady's husband. He doesn't look like he has a bunch of stamina right now. Benverf? that your name? Golden Benferf. Hi, Golden! Can I call you G? Okay, uh, great talking to you. Uh, see you later. Okay, uh, what are you taking us, Pit? Where are we going? We're gonna talk to that little girl. She's been traumatized enough, man! What? Girl diaries? Oh, yeah, guys, you're just in time to see all the creepy stuff happen. Now, this is Lion and Bariki. Meet the uh, middle-aged pit. Oh, good. He had a good vom, and he's okay now. Yeah, they do, but they don't serve tingles. Yeah, they don't like him a whole bunch. Yeah, we got Love ya now. Remember Love ya? I think we have a flyer of his somewhere. 
Oh, I, I, actually, I kind of dropped it. So you just introduce your way to everyone. I mean, Tingle had the whole fairy thing going on, but you're like a different kind of fairy. Just saying. <laughs> a few. A few, he says! Well, at least Lion's kind about it. <laughs> and Bariki, not so kind. The love push? What love push? The heck is a love push? Chapter 2 Love Ya has a plan. The present ploy. Hey, lots of presents. I like where this is going. So you just gave me a whole ton of presents, and this is what a love push is? Okay, sounds good. So now we also have a present box. Filled with presents for girls. Yeah, you were talking about love pushes and then just dump presents on us, like Santa Claus. So that's the whole idea of a love push. Just pour gifts at them. You mean I won't drop them as easily? These are items we can only use on girls. So we have to match a woman's tastes now. We could win their hearts by giving them the right presents. Are we really going to love push on this little girl, though? Yeah, she doesn't seem too blessed about that. <laughs> you really want to see a love push? You know, for like your research, right? Well, Kakashi's behind it, at least. I think we should love push the little girl. I mean, it's like just friendship, right? I'm gonna just write her down in my love diary. The shopkeep's girl. She'll grow into a stunning lady and then, you know, fall in love with Tingle because we love pushed her earlier in life and scarred her. Yeah, now the police, when they come asking questions, they could just, you know, well, at least we're ready for the love push now. Now we have a new button, the love push. Let's take a look at this present box, though. Fame level, nothing. You're just Tingle. Look at this cool stuff we got. Flower sheets are decoration and pretty. We also got bug glasses. We got lipstick soap. I don't like that at all, actually. A birdo phone. Hey, it makes chocobo noises. Fluffy socks. And the royal pudding many items here, but hopefully they're enough to left push on a girl. There you go. So, this is how love pushing works. It's kind of like, um... What's that game? Mastermind. You know when you, you guess, like, patterns and stuff, and you get, like, little hints, and you have to, like, find out the pattern or whatever? Pretty much the same idea here. Every girl has their own little preferences and dislikes. Uh, let's just say that she likes uh, food style and hobby, she hates tools, she likes pretty and gorgeous things, and hates cool and rarity. So, this is pretty and gorgeous, and it's food. That is style, she would not like that. That's a tool, she also won't like that. Especially since it's cool and rarity. That would just be devastating. Let's try, um... She likes hobby. 
And she likes pretty. Let's go with the Birdaphone. Here you go, little girl. Creepy old man giving you a Birdaphone. And she likes it. Oh my goodness, Tinkle! Tinkle, what is with that face? That is so disturbing! No! No, no, no! I don't approve! But she's not quite love-pushed again. But we did hit a, a few bonuses here. Since it's hobby and pretty, and she likes those, we get a circle. Anything she doesn't like is an X. I'll show off what happens later, when we actually have more items to deal with. She doesn't seem to like decoration too much, so I'm not gonna go with a decoration. That's another tool. Uh, she likes pretty and gorgeous, and this is also food. Have some royal pudding. Don't do that face. Don't- You're doing that face! That is weird! You're very weird! But this is like actually a critical hit because we hit all three of her preferences. But we could have used like pretty much any item. Well, except for the ones that she really, really hated. But she likes Tingle now. We gave her presents and she likes us. Is, um, is this how dating works? Jeez, no wonder I was doing it wrong. Maybe that's why they have the nut thing in Final Fantasy VII. The chocobo is doing a love push. Hey, I got presents out here! Yeah, totally get... I see something very weird going on on that windmill. I have questions. Yeah, we're just gonna forget that ever happened. I don't get that metaphor. Explain. Well, not in this weather. We don't even have a spring yet. So he taught us how to be even creepier than he is. Yay! Rainbows of presents! That's the power of the love push. Now snatch the present from my hand and you can have every lady you want. So he'll be hanging out at the fruit shop. I'll see him later. He probably has presents to sell us. I mean, he can't be doing this for free. But at least we have the little girl now. She likes us. So I guess it's all good. I mean, I'm, it's not creepy. It's not creepy because she likes us. We're just friends now. She doesn't have the power to give us fuel, though. So, next time on Ripen Tingle's Balloon Trip of Love, it's time to wield the power of the love push! Good night, folks.